This is the Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class Autobot Squeaks. The figure is part of the second wave of these Transformers uh, Deluxe Class Premier Edition Deluxe Class figures for the new Titans Return. Titans Return. The Last Night movie toy line. Some nice artwork. And here's another figure in Wave 2 Autobot Drift. Some nice wonderfully done uh photoshop images of squeaks had the toy looked like this man this would have been really really awesome but as it is i'm sorry to have to do another unpopular <laughs> review of a figure that a lot of people i'm sure are going to love in the movie but the moment i saw him in packaging I was obsessing over the paint apps and I had a bad feeling about the figure and I wasn't going to like it. And yes, this is how we are starting this review. Quick look at the instruction sheet uh, just before we start the review. It's very nice. I love this new lighter gray scale. Very, very nice. Well done, Hasbro. Okay. Yes, this is how we are starting this review. I'm not, some people think I'm very sarcastic when I do reviews. I'm not. I tell you the truth. I try to be as honest and open as possible. And I'm telling you this right now. If Squeaks ha happens to be your favorite Autobot or your favorite character in the new The Last Night Transformers movie, then turn off this video. Go watch another one of my videos. Don't even finish this video or start because you're going to probably hate me at the end of this video because I do not like the figure that much. It's okay. It's not completely terrible, but I had high hopes for the figure and it was a little bit disappointing for me. So I'm sorry. So right now I'm warning you guys, if you love squeaks, just, just, just don't watch this video anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And I'm, you know, all right. Now that that's done and over with, yes, he sort of fits the 3.75 inch 1 uh, 18th scale uh, figures uh, good enough. I mean, this is a typical Marvel Legends, Mar a Marvel, Marvel Universe figure, 3.75 inch scale. It sort of fits. So let's get rid of Deadpool. Okay, and here is the vehicle mode. Uh, he's got a trailer, uh, which is sort of like an accessory gimmick. Uh, he's got a, a weapon, which we'll talk about later. He can hold that later on. And this is the scooter. Uh, just to give you a size comparison, another The Last Night Vehicle. Obviously, he's in the wrong scale for the Lux class. Probably being scaled the Leader class, Optimus Prime, I don't know. Or a giant sized Rimlock, whatever. But as it is with the other deluxe class figures, he's he's definitely not not in scale. Um, here is here's a perfect example of barricade. This looks like a toy compared to our vice versa. Uh, what's wrong with my barricade? Anyway, um, so that's that. So here is the the alt mode. He's a scooter, a uh, beat up scooter, and just by looking at the paint, the sculpt. Great. Looks like a Vespa or a, not a Vespa, so like a Honda or type of scooter or moped uh, with a trailer. And the trailer attaches at a ball joint. This really annoyed the heck out of me. It was impossible to attach. And look at this. Hasbro, you should have made this one a smooth panel. As it is, it, it's like a, a very thin peg and you're going to be pressing on that. And it was plastidly annoying it hurt a lot i know i'm being a wuss about it but you know this annoyed the heck out of me i wish they would have just turned it into like a normal optimus prime hitch and not not something like this come on and this is the first time it, it popped out off and i Seriously, seriously, Hasbro. Ah, more reasons for me to hate this particular figure. It was a pain just to put it in. It, it was impossible. I mean, if you wanted it easier, it should have been just a regular peg and a smooth notch. That would have been great. But they wanted to make it super extra special. They made it a ball joint. It was horrible. Bad idea, Hasbro. I'm telling you, if you like squeaks, go turn off this video. 
Last warning. Okay, so here he is. This is supposed to be his eyes, I reckon, in the movie, but it's fake. His real eyes are right there underneath. So they've got fake eyes and fake handlebars because the handlebars are supposed to be his hands and these don't end up as his hands. One thing I hate are fake parts. And I think, you know, Transformers has come a long way and I think they could have done that better. But as it is, that's that. So, kickstand up and he rolls very well. This one has wheels as well, clear wheels. I'm sure he would probably be dragging this thing on. Now, from the looks of it, the blue, I like the blue. I like that uh, classic baby blue. But the way they put on that rust effect, you can clearly see in alt mode that they just splashed on some poop colored paint. And come on, really? Really? Look at that. It's like a kid just airbrushed, uh, they used a paintbrush. And this is, this was just super annoying. I, I the, the first thing you greets you in the packing is in robot mode and you see this chest and it's just horrible. Horrible, horrible paint apps. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be honest, okay? They could have done that better. They've done some uh, washed up uh, battle damage effects on Star Wars, on Marvel, on other Transformer stuff. Heck, even Optimus Prime. They could have done a better job with this, but as it is, Hasbro was lazy with the paint apps on this one and they just wanted to paintbrush it with some poop colored paint and damn it. I, I'm just hating it really, really nice now because of the pain apps. The pain apps were almost a deal breaker for me. I just decided to pick this guy up because I know he was probably going to be integral to the cast of the movie. He's like, um, you know, he's probably going to be cute. I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't end up like another annoying character that Michael Bay created. But that's the reason I picked it up. And logo, logo, yeah. So, and, and I wanted to see for myself it was re if I was really going to hate it. But as it is, paint apps, this one, the fake eyes, and the, it's, it's really, really annoying me. All right. I know I'm whining and complaining too much. But these things, they cost like, what, $18 here in Manila? Ridiculously priced, and this is what we get. Okay, I know I'm, in your country it probably costs cheaper, but... Yeah, so I do apologize in advance. I'm sorry. This is going to be a whiny, complainy, hate on video again. And as I said, stop watching it if you like. If you don't want to see me complain about another figure. So sculpt wise, great. Paints on. I'm giving credit where credit is due. Paint apps on the wheels, fantastic. The seat looks great. The boosters look great. Autobot symbol looks great. Silver paint apps look great. Everything but this poop colored paint on him is great okay so he has a trailer this one i like i like this gimmick it's sort of reminiscent of that old optimus prime trailer uh, that opens up and it becomes like a workstation so that's great it even has that arm uh, which you can do it this way and you can pick up stuff or if you want you can do it this way which the instructions don't really say and have a more flexible arm okay and more reasons to really love this figure. Okay, let's let's put that arm back in place. Okay, right there. And then he's got a toolbox where you can store the extra pieces. His arm that probably morphs into a bigger arm so he can hold that gun, the big ass gun, and his standard um, handlebar arms. These are supposed to be his hands to use to grip the brake clutch. The brake thingies are. His, his thumbs and whatnot. So, instruction says you can put him right here. Let's rest. That's not bad. I like that. I like that Optimus Prime ish gimmick to it. So, very, very nice. And it has some 5mm pegs. You can mount those weapons. All right. Very nice. And again, and again, you see what I'm talking about? Um, I know they're just pain apps. They shouldn't be deal breakers, but as it is, it's just it's just shoddy work. And Hasbro could have done much, much better. You see the paint, the paint, the plastic they used for uh, for all the pieces. They're great. Uh, he's got this arm. Sorry, I forgot to mention it's a ball joint arm. You can use uh, great use of plastic. I love the baby blue. Love the red. Everything about it is great but until the paint apps come along and. Maybe I can use alcohol and rubbing compound just get rid of these things. I would gladly do it, but I don't have the time right now, so. Okay, that's the trailer. Now here comes Squeaks. Let's transform him. Um, fold up the wheels. And these are going to be his feet, amazingly. 
So like that. That's going to be his feet. And this is going to be his entire thing is his backpack. Okay. Rotate this one here. Go ahead and open the arms. And as you can see, those are where the fists are going to peg in. If you can. What the hell? Okay. There you go. Those are the fists. Like that. See, they could have done a... Either, I, I, you know, honestly, after all the engineering, the okay, the glue just came off. <laughs> oh my god, I'm loving this figure already. So, untug the chest, rotate, and put it up here. Yeah, they could have done an easier way. Instead of removing this one, I, it would be nice if it would fold back somewhere or they could have shrunk it. Since it doesn't really hold anything, they could have easily shrunk it or made it non-functional, made it like this, fold it up nicely somewhere. That would have made me feel a lot better. But uh, so uh, pop this off, uh, pop this off midsection, open this. Out comes his actual head. Close up that whole engine assembly right there. Uh, oh no, sorry, don't don't close it up. Um, you're supposed to do this right there and close it up, okay. And then rotate. And here are the eyes. And that's his cap or his helmet, whatever. You're supposed to tie in right here. The actual transformation is like this. He's supposed to have that big belly. And there you go. Kind of reminds me of the GoBot scooter. Kind of does. Uh, but he's like really so cute and adorable as it is. And you see here, look at those handlebars. They're just sticking out of nowhere. There's really no way to... It just sticks out right there, right there in the Photoshop. It, there's just no way to remove it. I had they made it removable and put it here, I'd probably be accepting that. But as it is, handlebars are it's just so wrong. So you can articulate the hands this way. I, I'm I'm just hoping he's not annoying in the film. So I think Michael Bay is trying to recreate another one of his fantastic characters. You remember this atrocious little fella? Uh wheelie and i think he took some inspiration from robots in disguise uh, uh with uh I, I like fix it you know who doesn't right but i think that's where he's going for and really you know the guy who created johnny johnny five um should be asking royalty for this i mean look at this it's all johnny five kind of anyway so that's that Okay, uh, on to more of the paint apps. Just let's finish up the paint apps on this one. As you can see, the chest, it's all poop colored wash. It's, you've already seen. God, more atrocities right here. More atrocious. Some of the ones I've seen have a little bit of that red paint right there. As you can see that speck of red, much bigger right there. So there. Um, articulation for the figure, the neck has some articulation. If you don't tab it in, if you tab it in, it just goes left and right. <laughs> like that the arms have double hinges right here swivel swivel hi ball hinge shoulder and just a hinge elbow i suppose uh the wrists can swivel because their pegs are movable the feet they just they just roll like that no real need for, no real need for articulation and that the hitch is sort of like a stand now the trailer can fold up to become a backpack 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 Pull the hitch up. Uh, pull this one up right here. And these are supposed to be, I think, lights or something. Not sure. And there's a tab right there. You can just clip it on like that. And there you go. That's his... Uh, <laughs> like a Ninja Turtle. And then, as I mentioned, his gun. You can remove this one. And he turns into a big-ass forearm or arm. And then he can hold his gun just like a packaging. Kind of reminds me of Fix It. Fix It does have a weaponized mode. And... Yeah, so he's very cute. There were a lot of great ideas with this toy, but that paint apps was a big, big mistake. I mean, they could have done that better. Uh, the engineering on the arms could have been done better. 
transformation overall not too bad uh, some annoying bits and pieces here and there, but the trailer gimmick was great. The cuteness factor, very nice. Transformation, okay, as a nice little new robot. Uh, again, introduced in, in, in the Bayverse uh, Transformers. He's, he's great. I'm just hoping he's not as annoying as Wheelie or Brains and all that. He's probably going to be great. But as it is, he was very disappointing, and I didn't like him that much. Um... Should you get him? By all means. He's probably going to be the BB-8 or the R2-D2 of, of the franchise. So by all means, go pick him up. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're more of a collector uh, and you, just, uh, you want the best one, you can probably get him and customize it with the paint apps or just wait for the Takara Tomy version. I'm sure they're going to have a better job at that. I don't know. Something tells me it's going to be the same. But customizers can have an easy, easy time with this one. Just remove all that poop-colored paint and just do that. Look at this. Look at this. This rust effect. And if you look at the uh, Photoshop image, look at that. That is nowhere near what, what happened here. And had they done it this way, man, this would have been a perfect figure near perfect figure but as it is it's gonna get a uh dare i say it a seven out of ten for me it's still pretty high because he's cute and all that but just very disappointing i was expecting it to be a 10 i was on the verge of giving it a six or five and a half but i know people are gonna hate me so much <laughs> so just to be fair uh as so his great qualities but there's just so many atrocious things about it Sorry for extending the video, and sorry for hating him again. Uh, hating another Transformers character, but that's just the way it is. Transformers, The Last Night Premier Edition Deluxe Class, Autobot Squeaks. Thanks for watching.